uh, today we'll introduce a uh, Delta DI build uh, version 3.5. Uh, that means uh, our web scatter. And uh, today we'll just uh, demonstrate how to uh, monitor uh, ASPOC uh, value and how to uh, and modify value. So you can find the system architecture here. Uh, you can consider it's a IPC or laptop, and we define IP address like this, and we connect to our Delta ASP or Z. And we define the IP address of uh, 192.168.1.5. Uh, here we can use a, a Ethernet router. And actually today uh, we will use for the IPC uh, laptop to uh, this one we use a uh, Access, uh, access point. And here you can find we can do the connection test. And because uh, we mentioned this is an IP address of PLC, so we just enter this IP address and we can text the connection. Uh, after that, uh, we can go to uh, open a new project and you we can go to the project or uh, configuration so uh, we have to enable the web server and we have to run the server only uh, this one if we want to do the simulation without dongle then we have to uh, select this function and this is port number you can uh, default is on 9002 and definitely you can change to other port uh, after we uh, execute the simulate or uh, simulation function then will pop up the uh, you will open auto open a uh, Chrome or uh, IE so you can find it will auto assign the IP address and followed by the uh, AAAA so this AAAA port is a fixed number we cannot modify it. And here we'll show you the uh, setup sequence of our window content. So, uh, first of all, we have to uh, cre in, uh, create the device, and we have uh, build some variable. Then we uh, define some uh, user interface. Okay, so let's go to our uh, DIP so we can find. Here you can find the version is a uh, 3.5. We create a new project. So after this, we add a new device. And as we mentioned, as I mentioned, we use our POC, our ASPOC. So we can define the IP address of 0.5, and we can test the. Uh, connection so we can find will pump up okay after that uh, we will increase our three uh, variable so we will define our data register zero data register one hundred and data register. And here. Okay. And we will define this as analog. Analog means the continuous value. So after that, uh, let's go back to here. And we add another three. Uh, so here we define P0. And here we define P100. And finally, this one we define uh, P20. And we can link the variable with build a relation between uh, variable and the PLC or data register. Okay, and after that, we go to a uh, web window and we create a window.
after that uh, we find this uh, user text box and here's the main difference between uh, the uh, DIA view version 2 and version 3 so version 2 uh, basically will do the config uh, in this area but uh, the uh, sorry uh, uh, DIA view version 3.5 we will do the configuration over here so here you can find we can define the uh, analog value display red so we can link the variable when we define with rt0 and after that or we can also define the input can do copy and paste so this one is a uh, SPOC D or uh, D0 and this is for SPOC D100 and because this one assigned to different address so we have to modify the variable Then we go to event and change the analog value input again. And after that, uh, we will find the uh, uh, some value of this uh, data register, and we define this one as uh, D20. And again, we come to our property and modify the display. And because this one is the sum value, so we will not. Uh, uh, okay. Because this is the sum value, so we just um, modify the display value over here. Change it to uh, D20, and after that, we will use a button. When we press the button, then you will move the value here. Okay, so we define the property when we press the that button. So the value of D20 will be equal to the sum of d0 plus uh, the sum of d0 and uh, d100 okay so we set it's okay and before we go uh, simulation we have to uh, set the project configuration if you still remember so we have to uh, select run server only and uh, select a uh, stop web server okay let's check here again okay, and remember to uh, move uh, this window list to uh, start sorry you can define several and define which one will be the start window and because now we just uh, demonstrate so we use only this one and remember to move this one to the start window okay then we can uh, press wrong to start the simulation and just remind you uh, this one would take some time to open the Chrome or IE so just uh, keep our uh, pension and wait
Okay, so here we, you will find this is the assigned IP address and this is the fixed port. And you may wonder why here we have another two zero. Oh, okay. uh, after this small point, we got two zero, but that one uh, later we can remove. So now we just uh, show you here the first uh, D0 we use a uh, 50. Then here we use a uh, 68 in uh, D100. After that, we press button so we will get the sum value. So we can find this one. 118. So you change. So you can find this and then uh, we can go back to, uh, to DIA view and we can modify the property about the decimal point. Let's see here. Can remove this one. Uh, this one digit change to zero. Again, here we select property and change this more point to uh this more digit to zero. And then we can uh, close this and restart. And again, please uh, keep patient and wait. Okay, so let's all for today's uh, function demonstra demonstration. Thank you.